Can you just sum up what you think uh, happened there in the uh, really in the in the in the fourth quarter? Well, I want to congratulate the Heat uh, on another championship, another NBA championship. Uh, you know, Mr. Harrison, Pat Riley, Eric, his staff, their players uh, deserve congratulations. It's a tough grind to get through the uh, NBA playoffs. It takes about six months, I think. That's what it feels like. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, great crew. Uh, happy for them. From our part, uh, I, I couldn't love our guys more. Uh, what they accomplished this year is something nobody would have ever expected. And uh, they showed a lot of mental toughness, uh, a lot of good play to get uh, where they got. And I couldn't be more proud of them. Could you talk about how difficult it was uh, to initiate offense with with Tony struggling the way he did and and Danny not being able to find well the, players the you know players step up in the playoffs and tonight a uh, great example of that was Dwayne Wade and LeBron James uh, they played Hall of Fame basketball tonight uh, you know that's some of the best basketball they both played at the same time throughout the entire playoffs from what I saw you know when you have somebody like Shane come off the bench and knock it down the way he did uh, that's tough to match and if you're going to match that uh, you're going to have to be pretty perfect, and I, I didn't think we played our best game in that regard. Jay? Can you describe the difficulty in asking more from your guys when clearly they, they exerted everything they had and you need a little bit more? So in the timeouts and, and maybe in huddles when you're asking to give them more, how, how tough is that? Well, you know, I, th I thought they gave everything. Uh, that was a, it was a tough game six, and I think they showed a lot of – a lot of poise, a lot of mental toughness to come back today and play as hard as they did. I don't think we played very well, uh, but we played hard and gave it everything we had uh, and did a pretty good job of forgetting, you know, what what we let go in game six. So I, I was really pleased uh, at their approach and their effort. Where did that effort and that resolve come from? You know, that's just character. That's character. You've got a bunch of guys who, you know, aren't going to give in, keep playing with each other, for each other and really feel the responsibility to them to each other so uh, you know I expect nothing less and that's what I got Paul again on the left uh, Pop, uh, Paul Flannery SB Nation you've described this as torture and agony leading into this but is it possible to take a step back and appreciate the nature of this series and, and how good the basketball was throughout it, it was a great series uh, and we felt that I don't know if enjoy is the right word but in all honesty uh, even in defeat, uh, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy what our group accomplished already when you, when you look back. And, and you need to do that uh, to put it in perspective. So it's, it's no fun to lose, uh, but we, we lost to a better team. And uh, you, 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 you can live with that as long as you've given your best, and I think we have. We just didn't play well. And a lot of that had to do with their pressure, their defense, uh, a lot of contested shots. Uh, their athleticism was just tough for us to handle, and it finally showed a little bit in the seventh game. But they hung in as well as they could. Spears on the left. Pop, what was your message to the team after the game? No, I just told them I loved them. And are, are you, I know this is early, but are you confident this whole group would be back next season? Oh, I, I don't, I'm going to go get a meal. I'm not going to think about next season. I'm going to enjoy what they accomplished this season and feel badly about the loss all at the same time. I don't know how I do that, but you, I'll figure it out. Mike? Pop, could you, could you talk about what, what Kawhi gave you, a 21-year-old uh, really wanting the ball, wanting to make plays? And yeah, I, I just talked to Kawhi and told him uh, he was absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, nobody expected him at this young age to play the way he has through the whole playoffs. He really is a star in the making. He's just beginning to feel what he has. He's like a, you know, like a little baby learning how to walk uh, as far as NBA basketball is concerned. Uh, you know, he's a senior in college this year, and uh, he's come so far. And, you know, a, a lot of that credit goes to Chip England and Chad Forcier, what they've done with him all season long in developing him. John, a couple of rows back. Uh, uh, e even in the fourth quarter as LeBron kept coming and they, they, they would get a little cushion here and there, it always seemed like your guys made a big shot to stay in it. How did it feel as it was going down the stretch? Did you think that you had a real chance to jump back in there and, and get it? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, there was, you know, we had a three that could have tied it. We had a three right in front of our bench that would have tied the score. Uh, and, 
that that would have been a huge shot. That would have been a kind of playoff shot you make to stay or in a game or win a game. It didn't go down. They went down and scored, and you know, it built from the three point to the five point, and uh, they ended up getting it done. Tom on the left in the back. Tom Warsborn, San Antonio Express News. Um, Danny Green, one of 12. He complained before the game about being sick, feeling under the weather. Was that a contributing factor at all? I don't know anything about that. Okay. And um, uh, Parker was on the bench when Manu committed the, uh, the final turnover with about 23 seconds left. You guys were down by four. Why was he on the bench? Because uh, that's what I decided to do. Can you elaborate on that? No. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks, Coach. Take care. Thanks for everything, guys. Gals, I can't see if they're gals or not.